Hello, my YouTube friends. Thanks for joining in today. We have a lot of great things going on, and one is the Sure Microphone Giveaway each and every month. All you have to do to win a microphone by Sure Microphone is hit that subscribe button, slam that bell, man, and leave a comment as to why you love Sure Microphones. That's it. It's as easy as that, man. So today we're going to be talking about something really imperative that a lot of people overpass and i know i did for many years I overlooked make sure i turn my phone off so nobody calls but one thing is is your microphone stand your boom stand that your expensive microphones hang on i know uh it doesn't make any sense to go out there and buy you a, a three thousand dollar microphone and then try to put it on a mic stand that won't support it. And uh, I know there's been many cases before where I had had some expensive microphones on some stands, some cheaper model stands, and uh, <clears throat> got kicked over or fell over and just uh, ended up um, putting a big old ding in, in my uh, grill. And uh, not this microphone, but a different microphone. And uh, it w I wasn't too happy, to say the least. But uh, it's really important that you do have a great mic stand uh, if you're going to be putting an expensive microphone in on it. And this boom stand I've had for about 13 years now, and it's made by Atlas Sound. Um, they've been a company that's been out, I think, for about 80 years now, and uh, highly recommend their boom stand. So I'm going to put a link down there below to make it easy for you guys. Just click on that link, man, and check them out. Read all the specs on it, man, and get you one of these boom stands if you plan on um, having a uh, expensive microphone to do your podcast on or whatnot. This one, I think, goes out to – it actually has two uh, booms on it and will go from like 49 inches or up to 79 inches. So it's uh, – it's really, really heavy duty. Like I said, I've had it for about 13 years now. No problem with it. The casters on it are really, really durable. And uh, they're big enough to roll over anything. If you have something small on your floor or if you have carpet on your floor, it'll roll across the carpet pretty well. And uh, like I say, you won't have any problem with it rolling over something, maybe something that fell on the floor or whatnot. It's, it'll make its way over with, uh, with no problem. Uh, mine is chromed out all the way down to the base. And like I said, I'm going to put a little link down there where you can check out the one that I got. But I love the chrome on it. It shines up really, really nice. And it's held its, um, it's, held its luster all these years. And uh, I can't think of any other boom stand that I'd want to put it on than, uh, than an Atlas. Because uh, they, they're probably in every major recording studio worldwide. And um, I just love the fact that the boom can go out, extend out uh, really, really far. So your um, whoever's singing or whoever you have in the studio can actually get underneath them without um, kicking the boom, kicking the mic stand itself and knocking it over, which is a really nice plus if you're uh, doing overheads on your drums too. It's essential that you have uh, boom microphone stands to... Um, support your microphones that you're going to be doing x y position over your kit your, your drum kit uh, so you know it doesn't hurt to have three or four of these in your studio um just simply because you know you can have two over your your drum kit and then one in the room doing a recording uh mic in the room itself uh say so you can have this one up in a corner of a room and then have two over your kit one on the kick. There's several different ways that you can uh, mic a drum kit, but uh, you can never have enough of these things, man, especially when you go to put uh, very expensive microphones on them. Uh, you don't want your microphones to fall over and uh, be destroyed or have to spend a lot of money on trying to get uh, get them repaired. And I know a lot of, uh, like I say, they're in, they're in every professional studio that there is worldwide. And uh, you don't want to skimp on your mic stand, man. You know, I got to looking around. I got to thinking about um, some of the videos that I've done on microphones and some of the videos that I've done on preamps. 
and I got to uh, looking on YouTube and I was like, man, nobody's done a review on uh, at least a, a review that I've seen on uh, the um, Atlas boom stand. And I, and I was like, man, well, you know, I've had mine for many years now, and it's a must in every studio. Why hasn't anybody um, posted anything on this beautiful mic stand? So uh, I thought, well, shoot, man, I'll give it a shot here and, um, and let everybody know my thoughts on it and how it's worked out for me. I haven't had any problems with um, the joints and whatnot sliding up and down. I always like to put little safety precautions on things. So I do have like a little clamp right here added to it just because this microphone stand right here is close to 12 pounds. And so I don't want this thing sliding down or um, especially when you got the boom out. Uh, now the, the base of this thing, I'm not sure the accurate weight. I know there is uh, specs on the weight of the base, how much it weighs. But like I say, man, it supports this mic really, really, really well. And I don't think you're going to get a microphone out there that weighs heavier than this AEA uh, R44 or any of your RCA ribbon microphones back in the day when they uh, pumped these babies out. But uh, it, it just looks great. This mic stand looks great. This microphone looks great on this mic stand. And I wouldn't want to do it any other way. You definitely don't want uh, something like this on a, a mic stand that's just straight up to where you have your, you know, straight up and then your mic on it because it's easy to tip over or knock over. You definitely want it on a triangular base with casters on it like this one and one that's weighed, that weighs a lot. Um, but yeah, this is uh, by far one of the best mic stands out there. I just wanted to stop in today and reach out to you guys and let you know about our Sure Microphone giveaway that we're giving away each month. So you got to slam that bell and subscribe, man, and to and write down there below as to why you like Sure Microphones. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here doing this. And uh, it's as easy as that. And you're entering the contest and we do a drawing each month. Uh, now, Fashion Lady got the, the SM7B last month. She was the only one out of all my uh, subscribers that mentioned why they like Sure Microphones or uh, just had some questions about it, and she was the one who got the microphone, so it was as easy as that. I contacted her, sent the microphone out to her, and she loves the mic. And so, uh, anyway, thank you. Um, thank you, Fashion Lady, for commenting on that as to how much you like the mic. And for all you other guys that, that, uh, that haven't subscribed yet, do so, man, because you don't want to miss out on professional microphones, and that is the Sure microphone. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be giving out next month. It may be a 58. It may be a 57 again, but uh, it will be a Sure microphone, and someone will win it. So thanks for joining in, you guys, today, man, and we will see you again.